Hi, my dear jazz guitar aficionados around the world. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. You asked for more modern jazz guitar concepts and here they are. In this lesson I'll show you how to build and use quadral chords on guitar. They sound very open and can be played over a variety of root chords and in this lesson I'll teach you how to use them in a Dorian context. I'll also show you several examples which I also made tabs including regular notation for and you can uh, download these tabs from the link down below in the description box. Alright, let's get started. Throughout this tutorial we're gonna use the D Dorian scale and build our voicings on that. That's exactly what we're gonna do now. For a quadral voicing we use only fourths and sharp fourths. So no other intervals are allowed. So in order to make a quadral voicing in D Dorian we start with D. Here's D and we just uh, play from the A till the B string. There is also quadral voicings available on the upper four strings but for this video we want to use it for comping. We just play the inner four strings. So here's a D and D Dorian scale, I guess you know that, it's the C major scale played over a D minor chord. So all the chords of the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B are included, nothing else. And that's what we're gonna stick to. All right, so building fourths from the D gives us a G, a fourth from the G is a C, and a fourth from the C in the key of D Dorian is an F. This is also a fourth as I just mentioned. So this is our first chord. And it spells something like actually a D minor 11 chord. And I use this chord all the time instead of a D minor 7 chord because it sounds a lot more modern. And it's easier to fret. I'm lazy. So the next one in a D Dorian uh, scale, we go up and that's an E. And again we build our fourths as long as the tones just are C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So D, uh, sorry, E, A is a fourth, the D is a fourth, and here we go to the G, same chord, it's like an E minor 11. But remember, we're gonna play this all over a D minor chord or a D minor bass line. So D is in bass while we play this. I'm gonna teach you how to do that without making it sound odd. But first, let's just go through those voicings and how to build them. Next, we have an F. <clears throat> The fourth of the F would be a B flat. There is no B flat in the D Dorian or C major scale, so we need a sharp four, and that's the B. That's why we have this little odd sounding interval in the chord, but that's totally fine. Uh, the B flat would just sound wrong, although it would sound better on its own, but in the context, uh, a con, uh, context of a C major or D Dorian scale, would sound wrong. So B is good, from here a fourth is the E and from here a fourth is the A. So what we get is this kind of F Lydian chord because F uh, sharp 11 major 7 and that's the third major 7 sharp 11 chord or flat 5 if you want to. Make sure to practice these uh, adjacent voicings really well because we're gonna go through them very fast then when we comp. You, we do things like okay so make sure to practice this pretty well. All right next one is uh, G. A fourth of G is um, C, F, and here we would have a B flat again, which doesn't exist in the, uh, the Dorian scale, so we have a B. Oops, I use the pinky usually, but you can play like that too. All right, next one in the scale is an A, D, G, C, all included in the C major scale, the Dorian scale, 
and that's an A minor 11. That was G mixolydian in here, G7 something, G7 sus4, A minor 11, and one last one, B, E, A, and D. That's a B minor 11. Uh, no, actually there's one more because we started on D. So after B is C, we're a little high up here. We're gonna move this down in a second, okay? But let's stay here for a while. C, F, B, because B flat's not available, and E. So here we have. Now let's move the ones above the 12th fret down 12 frets. This one, the B and the C chord. And then we end up here on the 2nd fret for B and on the 3rd for C. Okay, let's go through these. Actually, we have the A minor here also, 12th, so that's the same moving down 12th fret as this one. A minor, B minor 11, C Ionian. Can you see that? Yeah. D Dorian, E Phrygian, that would be F Lydian, G Mixo, A, A Aeolian, Aeolian, you say, don't you? Aeolian, uh, B Locrian, and C Ionian. All right. So those were the seven chord voicings on each uh, degree of the scale. Learn them well, because next we're going to use them. Next thing you need to know is on which of these seven chords you can land, which means you can stay longer for a little while or longer than the other chords. All right, and that's important, otherwise it would sound odd. And um, this depends on your ears, but I give you some suggestions that uh, are good for me. Maybe they also suit your ears, okay? <clears throat> Of course, you can always remain on the D minor 11 chord, because that's basically a D minor chord. The next chord, E minor, I usually consider a passing chord, so I would not land on this when the better chord is just right next to it, okay? So I would not go like... Because this is the longer, this is one, two, and three, four, this is pretty long, half a bar on E minor is pretty long. I would, I would rather do something like this, and I'm going to show you a, a couple of examples, but just quick. I would rather go like, slide up, be here just for a little while, and go back down. So these are the cool things to do, okay? Don't stay up here. Next, the F is pretty good. If I relate all these tones to a D minor chord, I don't even know what I get, but I see a third in here. That's a third of D minor. Here is the avoid note. The, the B is the avoid note in Dorian. That's a sixth. And it lies right next to the seventh. That's why it's an avoid note, okay? We don't want to land on chords with avoid notes on top or on bottom. In between, it's okay. And it could also be okay on top or bottom if it's really high, because then the ear, uh, it seems like a tension to the ear. So, this one is okay, it's in the middle, but again, it depends what you like and what you don't like. Um, so I could land on this. Um, but don't land in the, uh, on the one in between. I would not recommend landing on the G. Here is the B, and that's the avoid note, and, and on, oh gosh, and it's on top. <laughs> um, so I would rather go and land on the A minor, the fifth of a minor chord. A minor is the fifth, is a fifth above the D, is always another minor chord and is always great because this is another D minor seven something chord, okay? There's no 13 in, uh, in there. The 13 is covered by the... Uh, C, which is the seventh. So, this is a good block, and this is a good block, and here was the first block. All right, so here we were. Next is the B, and it has the uh, 
13, the avoid note on bottom. And now it depends. I said don't uh, land on it. When you're down there, I wouldn't land on it. Up here, it's high enough. You could even land on it. But actually, you have the better one that, right next to it. So I'd rather go like, like this again, played over D. Right? The C, you can actually, there's a B, the avoid note, but it's not totally on top. You could land on this, but again, the better uh, landing tone uh, voicing, the better target voicing is right next to it. So why landing on the C if the better one is right next to it? All right, so I would see the B and the C chord as passing chords from A to D. Let's go move down here. So starting on A, passing chord, uh, passing chord, landing chord. Okay, so those are my kind of zones and I learn them in blocks like these. Second block. And the third block was, uh, it has, it sounds like lean on me. <laughs> All right, now let's check out some uh, examples. So in example number one, I start on the D minor chord, D minor 11, then I go a sync down a syncopated rhythm, this one, the C chord, the B minor 11 chord, and then I rest for a while on the A minor. So between D and A, I have those two passing chords, and they are too low to land on, you know, because of that 13 that I told you before. So we have one, two, three, and four, and one, two. Syncopations up again, and two, and three. And now I do that typical thing. Two. One, two, stop, and slide to the E minor chord and go back. I don't slide back, you could do that though to that D minor. So here's it at slow tempo, three, four. Example 2 is a little busy and you can of course play less chords, but I just want to show you uh, what's possible. Alright, again I start on that D minor 11 chord on one and this time. One and, two and passing chord, I immediately go up to that F lit in target chord, which is D minor something. Uh, then I go to the G7 chord. I don't stay there too long now, I have all those syncopations, and, 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 so this is four and, one and, brings me down to F, two and, down to E, and four, three and, brings me back to here, and I wait, I stay here for the rest of the bar, okay, this is my target chord, one and, Oh, sorry, one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four. Then I go down and, and have that slide thing again. Stop and back. Short rest on the C and back to the D minor where it rings for an entire bar. 
So here's the whole thing at slow tempo. One, two, three, four, one. So that was a little funky, and I'll uh, show you how I did that. A minor, played against the D, gives me a D minor 11 chord. So I slide down, and then I pluck the strings again on the A minor. I don't do this. Just slide down, and pluck the strings again. G7, F lit in. I stay here, that's my good chord for the D. Gives me a D minor uh, 6 chord. I start on the 2 by the way, so 1 is empty, 1 is a rest, 2, 4, and the next one is starting on E and going down chromatically to the good chord to D. Then have a little embellishment with the C chord and now landing on the D. E to E flat, then I pluck the strings again on D minor, C and land on D minor. Here's the whole thing at slow tempo. Three, four, one. If you're into that kind of modern sounds, I have a perfectly matching solo tutorial for you. My fusion licks, which I recommend to you, fit perfectly fine over these kind of changes. But any bebop line does, actually. Any modern bebop line does. Alright, I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did so. Subscribe to my channel. Share the love and the knowledge. I see you next week. Servus. Bye-bye. Thank you.